OK, I'm now joined by Richard Batty, head coach of the Sheffield Predators. Richard, congratulations. How does it feel? It's, uh, it's draining. That was one hell of a game. I mean, uh, that was tight all the way through. There wasn't a great deal on it. And uh, we had to change his uh, mentality in that second half and come out with a little bit more belief in uh, our game plan, both offence and defence. We made a few tweaks that worked clearly on the, the defensive side of the ball. Took a few personnel out, put a few personnel in. And uh, I think in that second half, it was more of a reflection who we were defensively. Uh, offensively, that's pretty much us all season long. If we have to grind it, we'll grind it. Uh, and it, it was tough. It was a tough game. I mean, our guys are really sore. They're happy, but sore. Absolutely. I mean, he's got off to a fantastic start, getting the first mm. touchdown. Mm. And it, from there, it seemed to go tit for tat either yeah. way. Yeah. He seemed to have lost a little bit of momentum yeah. after the Saxons. Yeah. What, what, what happened, Jeff? Uh, during the game, we had six uh, takeaways to nil. I don't think we had a take. Oh, we had one takeaway in uh, in the extra period. And other than that, I think we were six nil down on takeaways at one bit. You can't afford to give a team like this five five ball possessions uh, just off the bat like that. We were absolutely terrible, uh, and clearly we couldn't have gone on like that. So. Uh, that was the difference, making sure we cut down on the stupid mistakes. Uh, and yeah, we, we weren't as fluid as we should have been in many aspects, uh, but we've had a lot of injuries in this last couple of weeks and I'm absolutely stunned we've come away with this win because we're missing guys who really, we, we've got four starters missing on D and I didn't know whether we were gonna patch it up or not today. And the guys just hung in there and after a bit of an attitude adjustment at half time, they, they came good. You should, after, after the, the break, the weather unfortunately, yeah. It was rather odd, oh, lightning, yeah. lightning storm. But yeah. I mean, what did you say to your players? Because they seemed to have come out with a completely different attitude. They stopped the, yeah. the, the unnecessary um, fills, yeah. and they seemed to have come out with a more positive attitude. Yes. So, hey, you want it an extra time? Yeah. Uh, when we came in from the rain break, I still wasn't happy with the tweaks I'd done on the D. And uh, so I called in the uh, starting unit and I took a couple out. And it was only because I didn't think they were good enough in dropping into their zones. They weren't doing it well enough. And uh, I also thought we were getting insufficient uh, edge pass uh, rushing. Uh, so I changed that up and uh, I tweaked it a little bit, bringing up uh, an outside linebacker with a bit of coverage. Uh, so instead of going with a three, I was a four, but I was mixing and matching it from the sideline. And it seemed to put their QB off because he was having to try and pick up who was on the blitz all the time. And clearly, then just disguising the blitz from, blitz from the edge, it, it, it sort of unsettled him. And that's why I think we got the... Uh, the couple of safeties we had with the field position we got but the safeties were definitely because of uh, the fact we were bringing some outside pressure I mean against the run inside I think against the run we were staunch all day it was just we were lousy against the pass for massive periods in that first uh, period so it, it really was once the rain came down it was grabbing hold of them and, and just saying look I want you to do this and they did it to the letter uh, we didn't come out of a shell on the uh, in the first half and in the second half it was it was more about who we were and uh, it was a really good performance. I mean obviously we're talking about what an amazing game of football, I'll tell you, I've told Billy White, we had over a thousand people watching that live across the world Brilliant. and you've put on an absolute spectacular mm. event today mm. and you've done British football proud. So look mm. Richard, congratulations being Division Thank 2 you. National Champions. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of your uh, excellent team next year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers mate.